Hi everyone, welcome to today's GCSE Foundation Revision video. There's 49 days to go to GCSE Maths exam and today we're going to be focused on the topics of expression as a fraction and also expression as a percentage. So how to express one well quantity as a fraction of another and how to express a quantity as a percentage of another. We're going to be looking at those questions. There'll be lots of questions for you to try in this video, so remember to press pause and to try those questions. So let's get started. Hi, today we're going to be looking at expressing as a fraction and expressing as a percentage. So sometimes in the GCSE Maths exam, you might be asked to express something as a fraction of something else, or you might be asked to express something as a percentage of something else. So we're going to go through in this video a few examples. So I'm going to go through a couple of questions, then I'm going to give you some to try yourself. And I'll do that for expressing as a fraction to begin with, and then I will do the same for expressing as a percentage. So here's our first question. It says express 60p as a fraction of £3. And if actually feel free to press pause now to try this question yourself if you want to. Okay, so if we wanted to express 60p as a fraction of £3, well, £3 is 300 pence, so £3 is 300 pence, so we're expressing 60p as a fraction of 300 pence. So it's going to be 60 out of 300, just write it as a fraction, 60 out of 300. Now, I've obviously changed it to pence so that we've got the same thing. We've got 60p and 300 pence, so instead of having 60p and £3, we've got 60p and 300 pence, and we've written it as a fraction, 60 out of or 60 over 300. Now we just need to cancel this down. Both of these numbers are divisible by 10, so let's divide both of these numbers by 10. So if we divide the numerator, the 60 by 10, we would get 6. And if we divide the denominator by 10, we would get 30. Both of these numbers are divisible by, well, they're divisible by 2 or by 3 or by 6. I'm going to half them both to begin with. So if I divide both of these numbers by 2, we would get 3 over 15. And then finally, both of these numbers are divisible by 3. So let's divide both of these numbers by 3, and we would get 1 over 5. So if we were asked to express 60p as a fraction of £3, the answer would be a fifth. 60p is a fifth of £3. And that's it. So the answer is a fifth. And if you got that, well done. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. Our next question says express three days as a fraction of six weeks. So feel free to press pause now to work out this question. Okay, so if we were to express three days as a fraction of six weeks, the first thing I notice is we've got days and weeks. It'd be quite handy if we actually change this weeks into days. So remember the seven days in a week, so if we do six multiplied by seven, that's equal to 42. So that means that six weeks is 42 days. So six weeks is 42 days. And we want to express three days as a fraction of six weeks. So it's going to be three days as a fraction of 42 days. So it's going to be three out of or 3 over 42. And let's just check, can we actually simplify this? Yes, both of these numbers are divisible by 3. So if we divide both of these numbers by 3, 3 divided by 3 is 1. And 42 divided by 3 would be equal to 14. So 1 14th. So 3 days is a fraction of 6 weeks would be 1 14th. And that's it. And if you got that, well done. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So next question says, express 50 grams as a fraction of 2 kilograms. So feel free to press pause now to express 50 grams as a fraction of 2 kilograms. Okay, so to begin with, I notice here we've got grams and kilograms. Let's change our 2 kilograms into grams. So in 1 kilogram, we've got 1,000 grams. So 2 kilograms would be 2,000 grams. So 2 kilograms is 2,000 grams. And we've been asked to express 50 grams as a fraction of 2 kilograms. So that's going to be 50 grams as a fraction of 2,000 grams. So it's going to be 50 over 2,000, or 50 two thousandths. Now we can cancel this down. We can divide both of these by 10 to begin with. That's going to be 5 over 200, just dividing both of these numbers by 10. Now we can divide both of these numbers by 5. So how many 5s go into 5? That's going to be 1. How many 5s go into 200? That'll be 40. So the answer would be 1 40th. And that's it. So 50 grams as a fraction of 2 kilograms would be 1 40th. And that's it. And if you got that, well done. Okay, let's have a look at one last question involving expressing as a fraction, and then we'll move on to expressing as a percentage. So here we've got Rosie has £5, she buys a drink for £1.40 and a scone for £2.90, or a scone, 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 and we've been asked what fraction of her money does Rosie have left? So feel free to press pause now and to work out this question. Okay, so the question says, what fraction of her money does Rosie have left? So we know how much money she has to begin with, which is £5. And we know that she spends this amount of money on the drink and this amount of money on the scone. So let's add them together to see how much money she spends all together. So if we've got £2.90 and we've got £1.40, if we add them together, that'll tell us how much money Rosie spends. So we've got 0 plus 0 is 0. 9 plus 4 is equal to 13, so put our free down carrier 1. And 2 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 4. So she spends £4.30. And the question is, what fraction of her money does Rosie have left? So she has £5 to begin with, so £5. And she spends £4.30. So that means that she's got 70p left. So she's got 70p left over, so 70p. And the question is, what fraction of her money does Rosie have left? So she's got 70p left, and she had £5 to begin with. So it's going to be 70 
out of 500, 70 over 500, because she's got 70p left out of the five pound or the 500 pence. And we just changed the five pound into pence. So we've got 70 over 500. Now both of these numbers are divisible by 10, so that'll be seven over 50. And that's it, she'd have 750 of stuff for money left. And that's it, and if you got that, well done. Okay, so we've looked at how to express as a fraction. Now let's look at expressing as a percentage. So here's a question, it says in a box is 20 counters, and it says nine of the counters are blue. And we've been asked what percentage of the counters are blue. Now in a question like this, what I tend to do is I tend to want to express it as a fraction to begin with, and then once I've expressed it as a fraction, I just convert the fraction into a percentage. I'm thinking back to fractions, decimals, and percentages of how to convert your fractions to a percentage. Okay, so we've got this 20 counters all together, so there's 20 counters all together, and 9 of them are blue, so 9 twentieths of the counters are blue. Now we've been asked what percentage of the countries are blue, so we need to change 9 twentieths into a percentage, and then once we do that, that's our answer. Now in terms of this question, this is a non-calculator question, and the, I'll, I'll go through a couple of examples in a moment when we have calculator questions, but in terms of a non-calculator question, we need to change this 9 twentieths into percentage. There's a few different ways we could do this. Now if we want to change this to percentage, one approach we could use is, is to actually just get a fraction with a denominator of 100. If we can change our fraction, our 9 twentieths, into a fraction, an equivalent fraction, where we've got 100 on the denominator, we would then have something out of 100, so then it'd be whatever that is, percent. So to get from 20 to 100, we'd multiply by 5. So if we multiply the denominators by 5, we'd have to multiply the numerators by 5, and 9 times 5 is 45. So that's 45 out of 100, or 45%. And that's it. So that's one approach we could use to change our 9 twentieths into percentage. We could just get an equivalent fraction with 100 on the denominator. Now another way we could change this fraction into percentage is actually to change the fraction into a decimal. And remember the line in a fraction means divided by, so we've got 9 divided by 20. So we've got 9 divided by 20. And I'm going to just do a decimal point on some zeros because I know it's going to be a naught point number. So how many 20s go into 9? That's 0, remainder 9. How many 20s go into 90? That'll be 20, 40, 60, 80. So it's going to be 4, remainder 10. And how many 20s go into 100? That's going to be 5. So 9 twentieths as a decimal will be 0 0.45. And then to change decimal to percentage, you can just multiply by 100. So that'll be 45. So 45%. And that's it. So the answer will be 45%. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So our next question says, Dylan bakes 600 flapjacks. And he sells 480 of them. What percentage of the flapjacks did Dylan sell? So feel free to press pause now to work out this question. Okay, so to begin with in this question, what I'd probably do is I'd express it as a fraction to begin with. So he baked 600 flapjacks, so he baked 600 altogether, and he sold 480 of them. So that means that he sold 480 600 of the flapjacks. So we now need to change this into a percentage because we were asked what percentage of the flapjacks did Dylan sell. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to get an equivalent fraction with 100 on the denominator. So to get from 600 to 100, we would divide by 6. So we would divide the denominator by 6 to get 100 on the denominator. So we now just need to divide the numerator by 6. So 480 divided by 6 would be equal to 80 because obviously 48 divided by 6 is 8. So 480 divided by 6 would be 80. So that's 80 out of 100, or 80%. So the answer would be 80%. He sold 80% of the flapjacks. And that's it. And if you got that, well done. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. This is a calculator question. We're told Harold buys a car for £19,500, and he pays a £3,120 deposit. We're asked, what is £3,120 as a fraction of 19500 So we need to write that as a percentage of that amount. So let's write it as a fraction to begin with. So that'll be £3,120 over £19,500. We've expressed as a fraction to begin with. Now we just need to convert this into a percentage. So it's a calculator question. So remember the line in the fraction means divided by, so I'm just going to do 3,120 divided by 19,500. And when I do that, I get that's equal to 4 25ths or 0 0.16. So just in the division gives me 0 0.16. So that is a decimal, so now I just need to multiply by 100 and then add the percentage sign. So that would be equal to 16%. So the question says, what is £3,120 as a percentage of 19500 The answer is 16%, and that's it. And all we done was we just done it as a fraction to begin with. We changed the fraction to a decimal by using our calculator. We just divided the numerator by the denominator, and then we just times by 100 to get the decimal, and you convert it into a percentage, and just make sure you put your percentage down on the end. Okay, let's have a look at one last question. This is a calculator question as one for you to try, so feel free to press pause now to try this question yourself. Okay, the question says, James answered 40 out of 53 questions correctly. What percentage of the questions did he answer correctly? And you've been asked to give your answer to one decimal place. So as I said, feel free to press pause and to try this question. 
Okay, so let's write it as a percentage to begin with. So it says, what percentage of the questions did he answer correctly? So he answered 40 out of the 53 questions correctly. Now let's change this to a decimal to begin with. So let's take the numerator and divide it by the denominator. So we're going to do 40 divided by 53. And that's equal to 0 0.75471698111 and so on. So that's as a decimal. We want to get it to be a percentage. So let's multiply this by 100 and add the percentage down on. So we multiply by 100. That's equal to... 75.4716981 and so on percent. So that's it as a percentage. So that means that James got 75.4716981 percent. Now often if you do a test you don't get a percentage as accurate as that. Uh, so we're going to be asked to round this to one decimal place. So to one decimal place it'll be 75 point and we've got 47 so we're going to round up so it'll be 75.5 percent. And that's quite good. James done quite well. He got 75.5 percent and that's it. And that's it. So in this video, we've looked at how to express things as a fraction and also how to express things as a percentage. I really hope you found this video useful. In the description below, I've put the links to the practice questions in both of these today. So give those a shot just to make sure you're really confident with this topic because it's one that hopefully you'll make sure you get full marks on. Now in this video, I've gone through those expressions, percentages and fractions. I remember at this point with seven weeks ago, I'd highly recommend you keeping up with things like your five at A's. And if you're doing GCSE foundation, doing your numeracy, your foundation and your foundation plus five at A's every single day at this point. And also be getting stuck into your past papers. So that'll be really useful for you as well. So keep up the hard work. And I'll see you tomorrow for 48 days to go to your GCC Maps. Cheers. Bye.